atmosphere a match with the Wasps taking on Cardiff Devils for a place in ice hockey's Norwich Union Cup final. The Devils are unbeaten and have taken the new season by storm since their promotion from Division 1. This semi-final first leg was destined for a real battle. It didn't have to be a cup semi-final for Durham to be longing for this game. Cardiff are the loads of money team who lured the Cooper brothers away. And a Steve Morrier goal in three minutes didn't increase their popularity. But Durham were in no mood to bow to Cardiff's bubbling confidence. A classy move and even better finish from Brad Beck brought them level. In the final minutes of the first period, an inflammatory move by the Devils. Ian Cooper keeps the heat on his old club, 2-1. That really lit the Wasps' fuse. They exploded into life in the second period. Furious early action around the Cardiff net till Rick Brabant shovels in the second equaliser. It was all Durham, yet Cardiff stole away to regain the lead. But Archie Nelson's goal was the slip that started the avalanche. Stephen Johnson away on the left, and Brabant answers first time. Now there was only one team talking. Robert Forbes leaves his marker speechless. 1-2 with Brabant, and you can't argue with finishing like this. Enter then the brothers who stayed at Durham. Anthony feeds Stephen, and another goal with the Johnson polish. Durham's three lines are really telling now. Anthony Payne makes it a 5-1 second period. Now everyone's really ready to go bananas. Ian Cooper showed there's no old boy network in hockey. Laying into Brabant after the hooter. Now Rick's not really the fighting sort. Unfortunately for Cooper, it seems Brad Beck is. Nobody will forget Cooper's homecoming in a hurry. But this was no private party. Adrian Smith just had to join in. John Lawless is the gate crasher underneath. It was getting as good as the McCrory fight. Then lightweight Ivor Bennett landed a cracking left hook. Our Glenn would have been proud of. Lawless is on his back, but Bennett gets counted out of the game. The referee took the captains to his room and explained. Two match penalties and ten minutes within the box. When a hockey match broke out again, the ice was a little deserted. But Darren dished out the real punishment. Stephen Johnson started it, but it turned into a duet. First, a solo goal from Forbes, stealing the puck and making it 8-3. But he's not the greedy sort. Let Brabant land a few blows of his own. This one got Cardiff right where it hurts. More combination work next. Brabant returns the compliment, and Forbes delighted to accept. As Durham hit four while it's three on three. Nine goals Durham whacked in without response. Adrian Smith turning the knife to make it 11-3. After 30 goalless minutes for Cardiff, Ian Cooper gives Moria the chance to resume their scoring. But Durham had already put the new boys firmly in their place. Forbes made sure Durham kept an eight-goal lead. A devastating display, belting fight too. I'm not going to fight. I'm not going to get taken off by a boom or whoever he is. I mean, I'm here to play hockey. I think uh, they got a little frustrated that they had such a bad period. And it, it just, you know, it worked itself on to the end of the period. And then they had this little opportunity to open things up. Maybe try and uh, put us off our game in that sense, but it didn't. Is it all over with an eight-goal lead? Never over. You've got to play another 60 minutes of hockey. They're a very good hockey team. They're playing at home where they haven't lost yet. So uh, we've got to go there and play the same type of game we played tonight. I think they'd all been watching Slapshot before the game, don't you? They beat Cardiff Devils 12-4 in the first leg of the Norwich Union Cup semi-final. Steve Sutton was at the match. The Norwich Union Cup is one of the trophies in the Wasps' cabinet and they want to keep it. The Devils, though, had other ideas, scoring after just 30 seconds. It was 16 minutes before the Wasps redressed the balance. Brad Beck, 1-1. But there were more shocks to come for the crowd. Cardiff might be newcomers to the top flight, but early on, they didn't show it. 2-1 to the Devils at the end of the first period. But a minute into the restart, and Rick Brabant equalises. Up to now, Wasps hadn't been in front. Cardiff have made a good start to the season, and they certainly matched the Wasps. Archie Nelson on target, it's 3-2. The Wasps often start slowly, but soon they were to step up a gear. Import, Rick Brabant again, it's 3-3. That set the seal on the rest of the match. Robert Forbes this time, 4-3. Two more goals on the way before the end of the period. This one from Stephen Johnson, it's 5-3.
And then this from Anthony Payne, 6-3 to the Wasps. But then tempers boiled over. What followed were quite incredible scenes. If you thought the big fight was on Teesside on Saturday, then what about this? It took the officials 10 minutes to sort it out. The upshot of it all, two players given match suspensions and four more in the sin bin. The Wasps took over completely in the third period, a real succession of goals to follow. Cardiff were paying dearly for their early pace, with the defence in particular wilting as the minutes ticked by. Robert Forbes was top marksman, he hit four. Rick Brabant got his customary hat-trick, and by the end, probably even the Wasps' goldminder could have got himself on the score sheet. The Wasps take a 12-4 lead with them to Cardiff for the second leg on Saturday, in what's certain to be another highly charged encounter. You have a fair old lead now, do you consider the tie over? Well, no, I don't, no. I would never write Cardiff off, not to that degree. Like I say, up until tonight, they had a, they had a great record. And um, we certainly won't be going down there with eight-goal advantage and just playing defensive. You know, we'll be going down there and throwing everything at them just like we did tonight, go for goal. Well, after all that excitement, what more can we offer you? More excitement, that's what. Here's the weather forecast from...